Hello, my name is Michael and I will give the analysis of the problem E, giving a jump to crime. So in this problem you are given a map of the city with different buildings of different height. And you are, allowed, you are a superhero that are allowed to jump from one uh, top of the building to another top, or from one roof to another roof, from the center to the center, and you are allowed only a specific velocity, in the initial velocity v. So the question is, how much time, how much uh, jumps do you need to get to each roof of the, each building from the initial place which you are given in the problem statement? Uh, so this problem is mostly uh, about uh, implementing your physics and geometry code accurately because the overall solution is quite easy to understand. Uh, we, uh, we uh, the, since the uh, dimension of the city is uh, only 20, we have the time to process all the edges in, the, in this graph. We can process uh, whether we can uh, jump from each roof to each, each other roof. So consider two roofs in this, build, in this city. We want to see whether you can make a jump from this roof to this roof without intersecting the buildings that are between these points. So what you can do is you find these coordinates, you find the coordinates of, and you only consider this plane from uh, the initial point to the ending point. So you want to consider a jump from initial point to the end point and uh, find out whether you can do this jump without uh, hitting all the buildings that are in, uh, inside between these two, two points. So since you are given the specific velocity, uh, the initial velocity, you can uh, find out the parabola that you will use right here. Uh, there are actually two parables because if you solve for the physics exactly, uh, there are two ways to uh, reach this point from this point. But definitely the one would be like this and you don't want to use this one because you want to uh, jump as high as possible so that you won't touch the roofs of the buildings. So you solve the physics part of the problem and you find this parabola that, uh, that is the upper of two probable parabolas and you have, uh, uh, the, you, you know your trajectory and then you just check uh, whether this trajectory uh, indeed uh, crosses any of the buildings or it does not. So you have to uh, accurately uh, process all the buildings along this segment, which is not very easy to code, but uh, you can implement it. There are only 400 buildings in the, uh, in the city, so even for each segment you can uh, pr probably pr process each, pro each roof and check whether this square intersects these segments. If it doesn't intersect, you just uh, exclude it from your consideration. If, and if it does uh, ch uh, check across this segment, then you, consider, then you find this rectangle in your plane and check whether your parabola gets or over this rectangle, which is not easy to code, but it's feasible. After that, what you have is a graph of some edges that are possible that your superhero can travel, and some edges that are not possible, and you want to find the distance in these edges from the initial point to all other points. And the size of the graph is only 400, so I've seen some teams implemented uh, breadth for search in this uh, uh, problem, but it's even, you can make even less lines of codes by using Floyd's algorithm, because any graph algorithm right here would work since the graph is not so uh, large. So the graph part is not so hard. It can be done with breadth-first search or Floyd's algorithm, but the hard part is to find for each edge whether it's feasible with this initial velocity or not, which is both some physics to, to find this trajectory and the geometry to intersect this parabola with possible rectangles. I hope some teams will be able to do that. Good luck to them. <laughs>